we're coming at you with a beer review. It's starting to get kind of cool and gusty out here, but I'm going to slide one in. Clue of Barb and I have been out uh, working on the yard today. We uh, removed a Japanese pine tree, but it just wasn't doing well. And turned out that probably was root bound. And I mean, we ended up with this big, we're going to see what we can do with it, but like this big burl basically underground, just giant root ball. Uh, came out, we had to dig deep, but it, it didn't come out too tough, but it was heavy as a dig up. <laughs> so I need a big beer to counteract that. So here we go. It's from the cellar. It's cellar time. It is the barrel aged old ruffian from Great Divide Brewing out of Denver, Colorado. That's right. This is an American barley wine. It's uh, aged 12 months in whiskey barrels. It's 11.8% ABV and 88 IBUs. And there is even a bottle number on this. It's bottle number 2029. And you gotta know they started making these in 2008. So uh, you know this is an older one. I'm pretty sure, like I said, it's from 2012. We're gonna get her cracked open. All right, let's see here. Let's see what we got. Well, there's some carbonation rising up. That's a good sign. Man, it's looking beautiful, that carb rising up on the sides. We got a nice full finger head on there. It's actually pretty clear. It's amazing how clear this is. It's just this beautiful, like, ruby red more than brown. A little bit of brown tones, but a lot of just gorgeous, deep ruby red. That's a, that's a pretty beer. That truly is. Let's get the nose, though. I think time probably did this good, man, because right away the first thing you're getting is just this beautiful beautiful oak character you still get the whiskey but just some yummy vanilla on there and some toffee and caramel probably some dark fruits to boot you know it's got alcohol in it oh oh yeah oh yes it has dark fruits and i'm telling you the raisins big raisins lots of raisins and you know the darker raisins and like the golden raisins but a lot of different raisin character going on i think i've got some like date sugar going on in there as well and maybe a bit of like a, a brown sugar like your burnt brown sugar oh it's pretty good is what it is um all right well and that pretty much wraps it up I and mean, you really get this beautiful woodiness some earthy tones to it uh, I mean, this is American barley wine, which means it would have been hoppy, but I, I'd say it's more on the earthy side. You can tell that there was some hop character in there, uh, but you can't really specify exactly what that is. We're going to jump in. Cheers. Wow. I was going to say, so smooth, and then I just got hit by this big old slap on the face of booze. Wow, that's something. It's a low carbonation, but it's on the upper end of that for sure. But man, there's just this big old sweetness on there. You got the caramel and the toffee, but I'm getting a lot of the dark fruits coming through now. I, I get, I want to say, uh, not just those raisins I talked about, but I'm getting some like prune character as well coming through. I'm surprised how much carbonation is on there. It's actually, it's pretty sharp. It's hitting my throat and I think it really detracts. I did a swirl a minute ago. I'll try this again. So look, I just did a swirl and you can see how the head is just completely built back. Just take a look at how that looks on the side. So it, it seems like it's a little over carbonated. It is possible that um, over time the carbonation is built up in the bottle if there were still some fermentable sugars in there. Swirling this multiple times really helps because it's, it's taking away that sharp bite uh, from the from the carbonation it's not like a typical barley wine or even barrel aged um, it's has so much fruit character on this and and I don't know how much that's from the hops with this much age on I mean we're talking this is 2017 it's April 2nd in 2016 it was four years old so it's a bit over that Ooh, it's getting chilly though I gotta tell you we just had the Nike jet flying overhead it's a kind of a syrupy quality, really. Um, so, so raisin and prunes and maybe some of that date sugar. You, you still get the caramel and the toffee, but the fruit kind of is outshining that right now, which is very interesting. Uh, 
you're still getting that oak character. You still get some of the whiskey shining through. The vanilla on there. It's all in there. But it's dominated right now with this like syrupy, sweet, uh, dried fruits and dark fruits of sorts. So in terms of a, a great American barley wine with this much time on it, uh, I can't give it ultra high marks. Um, it, it's a really good one. I'm going to give it a 91. And I think that's a pretty fair rating. Overall, I'm not quite sure. It It's just, again, that sharp carbonation was a bit too much. Um, it's a fun beer, really fun to try. This would be great to share with a bunch of buddies while you're trying a bunch of other things. Um, overall, though, I think I'm going to go an 89 with this. Here it is again. This is a beautiful, fun, big sipper of a beer. I would say check it out. Get it fresh, though. Try it fresh. And then if you want, age a bottle. But you need to age it at least four years like I did. That's what I'd say, anyway. It's, uh, it's a fun one for sure. Big old 11.8% on this one. Uh, this is Kevin Clemens, Tuner, saying life's too short to drink cheap beer. And I'll see you on the next beer review.